सैंपल स्पेस इवेंट एंड प्रोबेबिलिटीज प्रोबेबिलिटी फर्स्ट लेट सी वॉट इज सैंपल स्पेस सैंपल स्पेस इज अ सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स ऑफ ऑफ एन एक्सपेरिमेंट सपोज रोलिंग अ डाइज इज एन एक्सपेरिमेंट then its outcome then its outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are the possible outcomes of this experiment so set of these possible outcomes is sample space s denoted by s and it has six value s1 s2 s3 s4 S five and S six. Similarly, tossing a coin is an experiment. Then uh, all possible outcomes of this experiment are head and tail, and set of these two outcomes. is a sample space denoted by s this sample space that has two values s1 and s2 where s1 is head and s2 is tail now we have two types of sample space first is discrete sample space and second is continuous sample space in discrete sample space out outcome of experiment are distinct like in this event if rolling a dice is an event then it's outcomes are distinct similarly if tossing a coin is an experiment then it its outcomes are head and tail outcomes are distinct so these two experiments are discrete sample space now if number of outcomes of discrete sample space are finite then it is finite discrete sample space so these two examples are of finite discrete sample space i can tell you one more example of finite discrete sample space if we to uh, tossing two coins simultaneously then the possible outcomes are head and head in both the coins we have heads and then in first coin head and in then second coin tail then in third toss first coil has tail and the second coil has head and finally both the coins have tail and tail this is the sample space of tossing two coins 
the outcomes are distinct and number of outcomes is five is four so it is finite discrete sample space now similarly we have in finite discrete sample space For example, tossing a coin until two consecutive tosses are tails. in this case sample space is tail and tail in first two tosses we can have two consecutive tails second case first toss we have head and then two consecutive tails tails now third case first toss we have tail in second toss toss we have head and then two consecutive tails similarly we can write all possible combinations like two heads and then two tails then uh, first tail and then two heads and then two consecutive tails tails and so on so this sample space has all combination of heads and tails ending with two consecutive tails so we can have infinite number of outcomes and all the outcomes are discrete sorry distinct so this one is an example of infinite discrete sample space now in case of continuous sample space the outcome of an experiment is continuous between outcome of an experiment is continuous in particular range between lower and upper limit it can take any value in that particular range for example speed of car suppose speed of car is an experiment then minimum speed of car is 0 and top speed of car is suppose 120 kmph then this experiment is continuous speed of car can take any value between its lower and upper limits now let's see what is event event is a subset of sample space e is a subset of s suppose rolling a dice is an experiment and its sample space is 1 2 3 4 5 and 
then outcome is odd number is an event denoted by e1 and outcome is odd number so e1 is 1 3 and 5 in this event we can have one or more than one outcomes outcome is even number is an event denoted by e2 it is 2 4 and 6 so that's how we defined event now probability probability of any event is number of elements of that event probability of event is the ratio of number of elements of that event divided by number of elements of sample space so if you are finding the probability that outcome is odd number then this probability is 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2 because 3 is the number of elements of event e and number of elements in sample space is 6 So probability is three by six or one by two.